Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out, and today we're counting down the top 10 action figures of the year 2020. Um, now first off, uh, I gotta go over a few things that are just kind of my rules that I put on myself, because there were so many action figures and so many good figures that came out this year. I had to kind of restrict it down a little bit. Um, so first off, no customs. Um, they're in the center of that uh, Superior Octopus. Love that figure, love what I did to it, but uh, I had to do a lot of legwork there, so that one's out. Also, if I didn't, uh, if I didn't complete, it doesn't compete. So, Venom Pool, unfortunately, he's missing an arm. Otherwise, he probably would have been on this list. Um, the rest of these up here, just uh, really good figures, but not in my top 10 for various reasons. Um, reissue, no articulation. Um, pretty sure we've seen that a bunch of times before, but it's a good one. I like it a lot. Um, the Rider Series. I feel weird about putting the Rider Series because I feel like they are such like a display piece that it's really hard to justify comparing that to a normal figure, you know? Uh, and then Master Chief just, you know, he just wasn't quite up to the cut. He was a very good figure, but not quite top 10 of 2020. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll start talking about the top figures of this year. Coming in at number 10, we have everyone's favorite Aquaticon, and we have Baron Benz. This is part of the Mezco 112 Collective Rumble Society. And I really, really dig the Rumble Society figures. I think they're pretty cool. It's kind of their own brand, their own unique property that they've been going with. And they've had a lot of figures from the Rumble Society this year in particular. But Baron Benz kind of stands out. He's a, a very interesting, kind of looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. Uh, he's actually from space, not underwater like you'd think. I mean, he does stay underwater most of the time. But uh, two alternate head profiles, both of which are amazing. Uh, I tend to like this one a little bit more, but they're both great. And just a really fun, good overall figure. Uh, a lot of fun to mess around with. So that earns him the number 10 spot. Coming in at number 9, and we have the figure that no one expected to be great. Old Man Hawkeye. If you would have told me at the beginning of 2020 that one of my top figures of the year was going to be Old Man Hawkeye, I would have looked at you and said, who? Uh, I have no idea who this character is. I just know that this figure is great. Um, the pinless joints, um, just the overall aesthetic of it, the wash in the hair. Uh, he does old man proud. And one day I hope to be an old man and I hope to look like this. Coming in at number seven is everyone's favorite webhead, Spider-Man. Uh, I know that this is flip-flop on the list of my top 10 Marvel Legends, uh, Hawkeye beat out Spider-Man, but today I'm feeling like Spider-Man's gonna beat out Hawkeye because I really, really dig this figure a lot. Um, all the articulation you could ask for, the pin joints on the inside of the arms are red still. Other than that, pretty much a perfect representation of that 90s Spider-Man. Um, gotta love this figure. The only problem is, uh, with this figure was that it was really hard to find. Um, you couldn't, uh, I never saw it on pegs anywhere. Um, I was lucky enough to get a hold of this one, but uh, yeah, definitely easily one of the uh, top figures of the year. Speaking of hard to find, coming in at number seven is the Cobra Island uh, Cobra Trooper. And this guy was elusive. There's people buying him up and scalping him left and right. I think I saw one on eBay go for over $100 at one point, which is just insanity for a six-inch figure like this. But that's a testament to the quality and the overall design of this figure. It's a really good one. Um, one of the top figures of the year, easily, certainly. Just a ton of accessories. The G.I. Joe line came out swinging hard this year in general, and this was one of the better releases from the G.I. Joe line. So an already hard-hitting line, this is one of the hardest-hitting figures. Um, luckily... Next year, we're gonna be able to get them in a single release um, as a re-release through regular retailers. So hopefully that should be easier to find. At number six, we have everyone's favorite mercenary, Deadpool. And this is the movie Deadpool. This is probably the best one that's ever been made in Marvel Legends. Again, pinless joints, just a fantastic representation of Ryan Reynolds' character in that movie. Um, really, there's nothing more that you really could have asked for except for, you know, better neck peg, uh, not glued guns, and for them to not pack it in with another figure that people didn't want as much as this one. I guarantee if this was a single release, which it looks like it's going to be a variant single release next year as an Amazon exclusive, the Dirty Deadpool, kind of the X-Force colors, and uh, I bet that's going to sell like hotcakes. Whereas this one, you know, still sold really well, and that's probably why they put it in that two-pack is because they knew it was still going to sell either way. But either way, great figure, worth getting. 
And coming in at number five, what might be dollar for dollar the best value for a figure on this list, um, a $20 figure that comes on a retro card, two different face plates, two different options to do with the scarf, two different options to do with the sunglass visor, just basically just dozens of combinations that you can do with this one figure to army build, and it is an army builder. Uh, and that is the Star Wars Black Series Hoth Trooper. Um, I really, really enjoyed this figure. It's a lot of fun to pose around. It's a lot of fun to mess with. And again, it comes with different face plates. So, I mean, there's the combinations are not endless, but are vast that you can do with this. You know, different guns, different uh, backpack on, backpack off. I mean, the, I could just keep going on this. And every time I do it, it multiplies it by another factor. Um, just a lot of posing options. If you're an action figure photographer, if you're just an action figure fan, this is almost a must have for your collection. Even if you don't do Star Wars, this is a really cool figure to have. If you watch my Marvel Legends top 10 countdown, this will probably come as no surprise, but coming in at the number four spot is Cyborg Spider-Man. My favorite animation of Spider-Man, Spider-Man being one of my favorite characters, this guy had to make the list and he had to be pretty high up. Um, this is an awesome representation. They really did a good job with it, whereas they could have just kind of copped out and done whatever with it. They actually put a little extra love and a little extra effort, which makes me think somebody at Hasbro might really love this version of Spider-Man as well. Um, thank you to whoever that is. At number three, we have what is probably, no, I'm not even gonna say probably, what is the greatest McFarlane toy ever made? And that is the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 spawn action figure. Uh, three different variations of this, a sword, a mace, an axe, every one of them just as good as the last. Um, amazing detail, amazing paint deco, finally a super articulated spawn figure. How hard of a concept was that? But it took this long to make, and it's only because it's in the Mortal Kombat line that's already super articulated. But I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying I love this figure. This is a really good one. Uh, it came right at the 11th hour for me. I've been hunting for it for the whole year. Um, but I got to say, it's worth the wait. It's worth tracking down. Uh, number three spot has got to go to the McFarlane Spawn figure. Coming in at number two, we have a surprise to no one. The G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes. Uh, and I went ahead and put the all black release on this. He was a little bit easier to find. He was at regular retailers. I do love the other one as well that came with all the accessories, but that was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive and was a little harder to come by. So this guy right here is just loaded with all the articulation that you could ever want. Um, he's, a, he's a black and red ninja uh, with a ton of weapons and a ton of accessories and just G.I. Joe's back, baby. This is the first one that that I saw was the first one I got. And I was like, yep, G.I. Joe's back. It's, it's, it never went anywhere. It's always been here, but now it's back. And I'm super happy about it. Snake Eyes, number two. So you may be asking yourself right about this time, what is the number one figure? If Snake Eyes was not number one, what could possibly top that? And the answer is, drum roll please, uh, Doc Nocturne. Again, I started out with the Mezco, I'm going to finish with the Mezco. Mezco is quickly becoming one of my favorite toy companies. Uh, and whenever we're talking about the Rumble Society and them delving into their own properties and their own, you know, non-licensed figures, um, I really, really love what they're doing. They're putting a little extra into those, and you can really tell. There's a lot of love for this. There's a lot of excitement around it, and it's just... I didn't expect to like this as much as I did. I know I say that a lot, but I expected this to be a pretty good one, you know, a pretty cool figure. That's why I picked it up. But it is the best figure I've played with this year. Uh, I mean, hands down. It's it's a skull, a skull man, skeleton man with a Tommy gun and a spider, you know, web tunic and a death ray. He comes with a death ray. I mean, do I have to say anything else? A death ray. Doc Nocturnal, number one. So that is it. That is the top 10 action figures of the year 2020. And what a year 2020 has been. Uh, I can't say it's been my favorite. Uh, I don't think it's been a lot of people's favorites. But uh, overall, as far as action figures go, it's been a pretty solid year. Um, a lot of good stuff to choose from. Just a, a ton, a ton of stuff this year. Um, 
check me out in the new year. My, my new year's resolution is to start posting a lot more. So hopefully this will continue into next year. And we'll be able to get a lot more good figures then. Um, G.I. Joe is still going strong. And it looks like they're going to come out kicking again next year. Marvel Legends has never slowed down. So that's nothing to worry about. And Mesco Toys, if they keep this, uh, you know, if they keep this pace up, who knows where they'll go. Let me know in the comments down below what I'd leave out, you know. What would you have put in here? Uh, would you have done this list the exact same way? Probably not. But, uh, you know, that's the fun of this. This is my list and it's what I enjoy. So, anyway, hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Check me out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. We'll have some more stuff uh, with these guys. And until then, until we meet again next year, happy collecting and happy new year. Also, I'm just now realizing that most of the figures that I have in my top 10 have like a red and black palette to them. I wonder if that's a theme. I wonder if I'm just like all about the red and black.